My name is Rita Soininen. I took part in the flu study in 2017. One of the reasons I found the flu study really interesting to take part in is that I have a few relatives who seem to catch flu every time it goes around and they get seriously ill up to the point where they have to stay in hospital. So I thought I'll do my bit for research to help, help, people, help the flu study and see how we can combat it. And it, it, was, it was a good experience. My first checkup was very quick. It was first mainly to find out if I was already resistant to the flu because most people have had the virus. After the first checkup, I had to wait for about a week to find out that I was suitable for the study and I was called for a second checkup. The second checkup took approximately an hour and it was very thorough. We took um, ECG, um, lung capacity, blood tests and also all the tests that were going to happen during the study. So by the end of the first checkup, I knew what I was up for in the study as well. The reason I took part of the study was that I knew it was very safe. The virus that was being used was one that has been going around already. And it, uh, it has been uh, processed in uh, so, so mm -hmm. sterile laboratory conditions. So we know how people react to it and obviously I was in a major hospital and so even if I got ill I knew that health was very close. Constantly during, this, uh, during my participation and when I signed up for the study it was made very clear that it's a voluntary participation and I can leave at any time before or during the study. The day, day was very well organised. Most mornings we got woken up between 7 and 8 uh, for blood pressure measurement, blood tests. Um, nasal swap, so all the medical tests were done first thing in the morning, then we would get breakfast um, and there was three more medical, medical testing times during the day and we got three meals and otherwise we just left our own devices. I found the, uh, the taking part in the study really enjoyable. It was like a mini holiday because I didn't need to worry about anything and I got to do whatever I liked. I didn't actually get ill during the study at all. I was expecting to get ill because I have relatives who do get very ill with flu, but I was absolutely fine. One day with sore throat, a couple of days with runny nose and that was it. I thought it was very interesting that they're looking at it so thoroughly. The part of the experiment I took part in, they were looking for genetic changes in your nose and, uh, and throat during the infection and uh, see which genes are switched on. And I had never realised before that that's something you could look for. So as a result of the study, it should be possible to identify people who are infected with uh, flu but don't get symptoms. So they are potential carriers. I'm really glad I took part in the study because it obviously helps with learning how flu works and how to fight flu. And it was a really fun experience and, and I got to catch up with a lot of things I would have not done otherwise.